Hello Libra and welcome to your December 2021 reading. So, I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first, first card that I have is the Four of Pentacles. Now when you look at that card, you see how this guy is really holding on to his pentacle. This often represents fear, in a sense. Fear of losing, fear of um, being taken advantage of, fear of not having enough, of not being enough. All of these fears make us hold on and grasp. Um, even fear of losing what we don't have when we hold on to an idea or a concept or, uh, you know, this is the truth and this is my opinion or whatever. Four of uh, Pentacles is all about that. After that, I have the chariot. Now, here, there is no movement. Here, there is movement. Movement forward. So that means I am not hanging on to a situation, I am in the flow, in the flow of life, in the flow of events, in the flow, the mental flow of growth, of movement forward, uh, and so on. Okay, that's why it's a card of success. And then we have the emperor. So there is uh, some kind of unblocking happening for you. Uh, Libra this month. Under the Four of Pentacle, I have the Page of Cup and I have the King of Pentacle. So this is very linked to your relationship with this world. With It can be with your finances, but also with, you know, uh, how you support yourself. And when I say support, I don't mean just financially, but do you support yourself in I am invested in what I want, with what fulfills me, and and so on. Uh, what is my engagement in my life? Do I find the solutions, the this, the that, all of all of what the King of Pentacles is all about? Do I am I fruitful? Do I bring uh, abundance, pleasure, uh, sensuality into my life? Okay, King of Pentacles. And here with the Page of Cup, there's this offer, okay? A page of Cup can be an offer. It doesn't have to be an offer of love, but there's beautiful emotions behind it. And there's an opportunity. It's filled with possibilities, and there's an opportunity of uh, feeling fulfilled emotionally in it, okay? Because it's an Ace of Cup. Either we, brought, we actually take it ourselves, or it is offered. Uh, under the chariot we have the knight of wands so see the movement here we have the fire behind the chariot okay and here the ten of wands this is a bit like the gates at blue bonnet or any you know uh, the horse races where you have see this guy he doesn't see in front of him You're, it's hard to move forward fast when you have 10 ones in front of you blocking your view of where you want to go. So that's why here that knight of ones is in the here and now this is what I want. I'm going for it. He's the fearless knight. He's not the committed knight. He's not the, the one that will look at the past or the consequences of the future. He's in the here and now. And we need that energy in order to drop the ten wands and lift off go okay these two cards are, are a very dynamic energy to create a momentum here under the emperor we have the king of sword the fool and the page of pentacle page of cup page of pentacle so what at the beginning was maybe you know um an offer that was more in the feelings, okay, or more like we're deciding to bring more joy and love and fulfillment, creativity into our lives. It by moving forward, risking it, we're actually bringing a concrete opportunity, and in which we will have the fate 
to kind of jump in it uh, because we're making the decision. This is kind of clear in our mind, emperor, uh, and here under the Three of Cups. So it's like, yes, this is going to bring happiness. Bottom of the deck, I have the lovers. So it's a decision in a way that you're going to take. Let's clarify this for you, Libra. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Libras for December 2021. Show me the Four of Pentacles. Ah, yeah. Well, maybe you were playing safe because, you know, your fears, your insecurities, where you lose your power, where you think you don't have any power on this world is actually um, counteracted, okay, or defeated by here. I have the Nine of Cups because that little cup is actually a wish fulfilled for you. It's actually something you know uh, is going to make you happy, okay? It's like, oh, is it too good to be true? You know, it's going to stick his ugly head out. Maybe it is too good for you, Libra. But no, 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 you're not falling for this. Uh, let's look at the chariot. You're taking control of the situation. King of Wands. Hangman. King of Sword, that is here. And the Knight of Sword, that is right there. Here, Seven of Wands. So, this, you know, when we were in the Four, I was talking about the Four of Pentacle. We're often also in the Seven of Wands at the same time, where we have to protect ourselves and our energy, our fire, our willpower is used to protect ourselves, to put boundaries, not to lose more than what we have lost until now, and so on. When our fire is not in a four of pentacle defending uh, the position here, that false security, when it's in the, no, I know what I want, this is fitting with my aspiration, then our fire creates a motor behind us. And so with the hangman here, it's saying that in a way, that, you know, out of the gate, uh, wild horse is running here, it is happening because you're looking at this from a completely different point of view. So that means that you're going to get the illumination that the safety net that you had put yourself was keeping you inside more than actually allowing you to continue to grow, to live, to experiment, to be out there. Let's look at the... It's, it was a false security, more of a prison than in an exhausting prison, um, more than anything else. You're understanding it, you're making that decision and you're going for it. Emperor, you have right away the King of Sword and the King of Wands. Ah. And here is the chariot. Because you're moving past five of pentacles, the fear of maybe I'm going to be abandoned, I'm not going to be received, I'm going to be rejected, uh, you know, all of that. Maybe I'm lacking something, so I better hold on. And this is when we sacrifice all the time, and so people take advantage. Therefore, I have to put my boundaries and use my energy for that. Chariot, I understand it. My shadow, my illusions, uh, my traumas are not going to diverge me from my movement forward anymore. Taking control of your life here. And trusting yourself. Because going with insecurity takes so much more energy than just 
allowing things, having pleasure in it, uh, enjoying the movement, and trusting ourselves. It's not a question of trusting the outside world, it's trusting ourselves. I know that I will make the right decisions. I know that I will not blind myself when there is going to be something I need to uh, speak my truth or uh, go for or whatever. The more we own ourselves and we know ourselves, the more we have power over our reality out there. Okay, look at the page of cup here. For Libra. What's that page of cup? Okay. So I have the king of pentacle and temperance sticking its little head here. Probably telling us because temperance is Sagittarius. We're in the month of Sagittarius. Temperance is about healing, maturing emotionally. So maybe now you're able to have that self-love that is actually allowing you to make a leap of faith. There's our fool. And not, you know, block yourself because you're afraid of being hurt and that you are, you know, when you're projecting or when you're thinking, you're actually hurting your heart, hurting your own. This is when the mind actually hurts our heart. Okay? And this would have affect you into trusting your capacity to make it out there, your capacity to create an empire, to be abundant, to be engaged into your life. Let's look at that. Um, yeah, this was with the page of cup. That little ace of cup is bringing this capacity to have faith. Let's look at the king of pentacle. Two of cups, three of cups, directly affecting, affected by uh, the emotions here, okay? Uh, the other, how the other have treated us, the mirror of the other, okay? So either we have around us people that love us, wants the best for us, support us, are there for us, or not. And so there we have to look at, how am I doing it for me? Am I supporting me? Am I engaged in me? Am I, um, you know, doing what it takes for my own growth and security and so on? Uh, here, the safety into trusting the other, because we're going to start trusting ourselves. Let's look at that night. Okay. Knight of Wands. So I will not Five of Swords myself, you know, maybe self-sabotage, uh, be the worst lawyer for myself, advocate of everything that can go wrong, and here I'll hurt myself on the way. Knight of Wands. And here, Queen of Cups. I'm going to look inside, allow that cup to come in, and I'm just going to go for it. Um... Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. There's this, maybe you're going to understand, and that's how you're going to see things differently, is that everything is a question of vibration. How I vibrate is what is mirrored outside. Not what I deserve, but where I vibrate myself. So there's no use hurting myself with my mind, with my beliefs, with my thought. I'm just going to go for what I love, what I'm passionate of, uh, my aspiration, and that's it. I will not restrain myself anymore because of what I was seeing in the eye of the other, of the other and believing about me, maybe. You see what I mean? Ten of Wands. So I'm going to release all of this weight on me. You want to... Okay. Ace of Sword. Because you're understanding. You're understanding that. Okay. And you are going to release also Eight of Cups. 
the emotional baggage that was giving you these beliefs and this fear and this insecurity. Which, like I was saying, facing even the smallest things when we, we're carrying this takes so much energy. It's like a huge challenge every time. Because the energy is going all over the place. It's not aligned in that joyful, uh, enthusiastic, one direction movement. Aligned with my aspiration, with what I love, and where I vibrate. Therefore, that is what is reverbed in reality. Let's look at that King of Sword, the Fool, Justice. And there you are. Your mind, King of Sword, will be clear. You will be able to jump in faith because you're going to hold this concrete project, idea, beginning, uh, and it's going to be balanced. It's rebalancing your dynamic with others also because you do rule the house of partnerships, Libra. So, and since your birthday, since your solar return, uh, we had um, Scorpio. Uh, that means what needed to be cleared had to be cleared. And now we're entering Sagittarius where you're seeing the bigger picture and you're able to heal emotionally so that you can actually realign your mind so that it's not uh, your emotions and all of that, your vibrations are not bringing weight and restrain uh, when it comes to what you want to go for and so on. Let's look at that uh, Three of Cups. And the people around you also. You know, when we don't feel supported by the people around us, uh, then we only drive on our juice. But if we gave power to that judgment, we don't have juice of our own. That's why often people will say, well, don't speak about your project because, you know, it won't happen. That's when we put too much power in the eye, the opinion, the view of the other. And we're not giving ourselves the power of our worth, our value, our capacity to actually accomplish our goal, our idea, and so on. So, and there we play safe. We hold it, our thing and we wait for, you know. Three of Cups. But because you're changing, uh, and here is the High Priestess, this is really uh, to kind of, this is spiritual understanding here. And here I have the Seven of Pentacles, because this is was like if you were on hold, uh, doing your thing, but not investing in you uh, at all, because of the power you gave to the other. And this month, you're going to do this kind of, you know what, I'm going for it. I will not hurt myself anymore with the beliefs and whatever, the arguments against it and so on. Every time I was hurt and so and so, I'm leaving all of this behind because this was actually blocking my view and my capacity. The gates will come down and there you're going to go and fly. So it's going to be fly, Libra fly. That's what's going to happen this month if you want. So, on this, my beautiful Libras, this is amazing. I wish you an amazing month of December, Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, uh, the winter solstice, of course. Uh, great time to celebrate and put your seeds of intention for the light that's going to come back into our lives. Um, I wanted to make the announcement that on the 17th, 18th, and 19th of December, I'm taking part of the International Conference on Spiritual Technology. So if you want to participate, uh, uh, there's the website below. You'll see there's a bunch of uh, speakers that are going to share uh, their vision 
and their background because it's all different uh, spiritual backgrounds there uh, coming together. So very interesting. The website will be below to have more information. If you want a private reading, also below in the plus section, there's an email. You write to me, I write to you back. Um, and of course, during end of um, you know around Christmas and New Year's, I am going to take a little break, but uh, I can still uh, book for after. And um, also, uh, thank you for watching, subscribing, and sharing and commenting. Thank you also for the ones of you who gave donations. On the 4th of December, I'm doing a little ceremony to give you back. And on this, my beautiful Libras, I'm sending you all my love and light. And I'll see you next month.